And we are back with some more BS for your life. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff is happening right now, and we like to share you the news as it's coming. We um, like to party. We like to party. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing or following or whatever platform you're on. Just just follow us wherever we're at. Um, and also make sure you guys do check the description below. We got some good stuff for Bus TV. Oh, I took oh, over on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa. <laughs> You've been wanting to say it. I know. I know. It's okay. Get that Bus share. TV. Bus TV. <laughs> you want to make sure that you're also checking out the VPN in the description down below as well. Uh, the VPN has added a bunch of new features, including parental controls, ad blocking, and the ability to put in your own DNS if you're using other functions like that. So it's a lot of good stuff that they're offering for a really, really good price. So make sure you check out the VPN and link in the link in the description. Link in the description down below. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> it's all in the description. Whatever you do, just check it out. <laughs> And then, and then I'll, I'm going to ask for two more things. No. If you guys appreciate the content, oh. smash the thumbs up because it helps a lot. It's free for you, free for me, free for everybody. Um, and the second thing is, the second thing is leave us a comment below if you use Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus. Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. Those are like the top three right now. Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. There are other apps, but we're only going to be... And we know Hulu and Disney is pretty much kind of the same, but it's not the same. So Netflix, Hulu, Disney. If you have any of those three, leave us a comment below. And if you don't have any of those three, leave us a comment of what you do have. What do you use? Um, so what, what, what was it as of yesterday? November As of November 1st, I think? Netflix went live with ads? Something like that. Let me see. It says, uh, actually, starts November 3rd. So, as of November 3rd, this episode will be out by then. No? Yeah. 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 So, as of two days ago ish, <laughs> <laughs> um, Netflix has ads now. Unless you upgrade it to the ad free, which is like 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something stupid like wow. that. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. It's ridiculous. What do you think? Netflix with ads. I'm not totally is cringe. I'm not totally against it. I'm not totally against it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that their prices are good. But like I've said before, prior to this tier, their cheapest tier was $9.99. And you got seven. Actually, I think you only got 480p and it didn't have ads. So now there's a cheaper tier than that tier, which is still 720p. And because of this tier, they've bumped up their 999 tier to 720p from 480. Not, I don't want to say for free, but yeah. So I guess there's more choices. This isn't necessarily worse than what they had before because before they didn't have a seven dollar option six dollar option whatever country you're in prices are different so they're just giving you more options towards their content and i know that a lot of people are upset like i don't want to have to pay this if it still has advertisements so the good news is you don't you can get the 9.99 <laughs> package wow <laughs> I don't like it man you know me i'm kind of like yeah but you're not buying that package though like you have netflix on 4k hdr so why do you care hmm. I, I don't know i think i think once okay so let's go through the prices one more time i only have the canadian pricing in front of me right now so i did it go up or down with ads it didn't exist before. I know. So, but 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 that's the thing. Everyone's gonna compare it to. I was paying ten bucks before, and now I'm paying ten bucks with ads. You know what I mean? No, so there's no ten bucks with ads. 
Well, no, well, that, 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 that's the thing. How much is it with ads now? Uh, I think in the US it's seven dollars. How much was it before when there was no ads? Ten. Okay, so it went down a little bit. Yeah. That's what people are going to compare it to because I don't think anybody is getting a free upgrade with no ads. You have to actually say, I want the upgrade. Right. And the plan before, like I was saying, was 480p for $10. I'm looking at the Canadian pricing. I wish they had the. Uh, I wish I could get access without switching onto a VPN and cutting off my stream right now. <laughs> um, Let me see if I can find it real quick. Well, if you go to Netflix.com slash sign up slash plan form, which is a weird thing to call it. Plan form. Um, it I gives you a really breakdown. Good. I just mm-hmm. do Netflix, choose your plan. Yeah, choose your plan. It's the same thing. Yeah, put it up on the screen. Throw it up. Throw up. Present, share screen, that guy, and boom. So the basic is $9.99. Oh, they, don't need, they didn't update your side? Yes, not. Weird. Watch all you want, ad free. This is Netflix.com forward slash sign up. Four slash plat platform. plan form. Yeah, plan form. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, so that 720p was an upgrade from 480. That used to be 480. Price didn't change. The package didn't change except for having a better resolution. So now you're going to have an additional one that says basic with ads. And it'll say 699. It'll say video quality is good. It's 720p. And you can watch it on your TV, computer, mobile phone, and tablet. And you don't have the ability for downloads. On these three plans, you do have the ability for downloads. Here we go. Starting at $6.99 a month with ads. Um... So this is so so available in 12 countries. Basic with ads will be available in Australia, Brazil, uh, Northern America, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Korea, Mexico, Spain, the UK and the US. But the prices are different in all those countries, too. Oh, yeah, it will be respected to whatever. The thing is, it doesn't, and it doesn't really say. It just says starting. Not necessarily. Like for instance, the ad tier plan in Canada is five ninety nine, which is like less than five dollars US. So ours is cheaper, but I think that's in relation to the US Netflix platform having more content than the Canadian platform. Yeah, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. Which makes sense. So makes sense. But so it just says starting at six ninety nine a month with ads. So it went from, and is this seven twenty p? Yeah, seven twenty p. That's right. Okay, so <clears throat> people are, are going to compare it to. I used to pay set, uh, ten bucks before, and it's going to be it, now. I'm going to be charged seven bucks if you want to change that tier, right? If you want to change that here. Also, they're keeping all of this, but they're just adding the ads. Right. So we're really just complaining about more options. Okay, so I, I guess that it ain't too bad. If, if they're keeping the same stuff here as is, then cool. For some reason, I thought that the basic plan there, it was going to go away. No, nope. and they were going to add ads, which they're going to force everybody. They're going to say, <laughs> they're going to say, like, "Hey, we are now moving you down two dollars cheaper." Yeah. I'll show you what it looks like on the Canadian side. Uh, present, share screen, sure, window, here. So it looks exactly like yours, except obviously our prices are different. But you can see, like, that's what your website's going to look like when they update it. I don't know why Canada's more upgraded than the US website, but hey, it is what it is. 
obviously the prices are different but you can see basic with ads basic standard and premium so that's what it's going to look like there's the little chart never mind the pricing because this is canadian pricing but you get the idea so yeah. i'm i'm interested because i think that this might be just a play to get uh people to sign back up so we're going to see a lot of people that are going to be um upset because they can't share their friends accounts anymore so they're going to sign up under the ad tier and then a few months down the road they're going to be like well shit, the standard plan or the basic plan is only three dollars more than what i'm paying for right now a month i should just switch so it's going to be a quick cash grab to bring in everybody who can't share their friends and family accounts they're going to jump on the basic with ads and then a few months down the road they're going to be like well it's only a few dollars more i'll just upgrade to the basic without ads Hmm. Yeah. Well, so I, 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 and people are going to be upset. So they're not going to want to jump straight to a premium or standard plan once they're not able to share with their family and friends anymore. Yeah. Like they're going to be like, ah, I'm not going to, you're not going to get any of my money. And then they're going to start with <laughs> basics. And then a few months down the road, we all know what's going to happen. Ah, I don't want to deal with these ads. So I'll upgrade and then I'll upgrade and then I'll upgrade. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Netflix has another 100 million users. It's funny that you say that um, because yesterday I turned on Hulu. And at first I was watching TV. I was like, cool, let me just watch TV. I got I got my you know basketball starting back up again. Um, we are already well into our, our fantasy football league. And uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, and you know it, it's like there's there's not enough football games throughout the season, and it's spread out so far. And basketball, there's like a grip ton of games. Hockey, you know, there's a grip ton of games. And right now, those two sports are like in season. So you know, I was like, okay, let me just watch my basketball. And my team is doing kind of crappy right now because they're trying like a lot of new stuff. So I was like, I'm like, let me go to the the you know, the, the K app real quick. And I have a bunch of movies and TV shows saved and I started one and then I stopped it. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't, I really don't want to watch this. And then I went to Sinclair and popped something else on. I'm like, I really don't want to watch this either. So I opened up Hulu. <laughs> I had, I had that issue. I had that problem yesterday where, where there's, I had too many options and I, I didn't know what to do. Um, so I, I put on Hulu. I went to movies. I went to comedy. I'm like, I want to watch something funny. I was kind of like working on some stuff. And I'm like, let me. Let me figure something out here. Let me see what I can find. Put in the background. Have you seen the movie Blazing Saddles? It sounds familiar, but no, I haven't seen it. OK, you got to watch it. It's stupid. It's old. It's it's racist as hell, but it's funny as shit. Um, oh, I just remembered that I should probably let you know I upgraded my home theater system. What'd you get? Take a guess. Sonos? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so can you can you determine the package that I picked up? Um is it for the apartment, for the, your basement or for the house? For the house. Okay. If it was me, uh-huh. And and we've had many conversations about Sonos. Yeah. And, and and I did give you like a bunch of things of of how you should build it if you do build it. The sub. The, the big sound, one, not the new one. Well, both subs are, are good. They're, they're pretty much the same almost. Um, the only thing that's that's way different are the sound bars, but I would say sub and a sound bar. And... I don't think they have play threes anymore. So either two play ones or two play fives. So I got the arc. Yeah. The sound bar and the generation three sub. Yeah. And the two play ones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, what do you think? <laughs> so it's pretty good. It's, it's good. It's good. I haven't really had much time to test it out because I'm not there that often, but, uh, yeah, they were on sale and they're not usually on sale. So I was they're like, not. all right, I'll go check it out. And then um, Preppy had one 
a 75 inch TV. So nice. I was like, it's kind of dumb to have a 75 inch TV and, and no, and no home theater system. Right. Yeah. So then, uh, I joined the stupid Best Buy membership program so that they yes. would give me the web, the, the, the warranty on the solo yep. stuff, right? Like something stupid, like five year warranty or whatever. Right. And then uh, they're like, oh, do you want us to come out and mount your TV? I'm like, it's a 75 inch TV. You want to mount this thing? They're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I booked an appointment for them to come and mount it and then do the whole thing where they put the hide the cables in the wall and like all that stuff. So it should be pretty nice once the whole setup's done. Yeah, nice and clean. So I'll say this. When you do. Yeah, Bella. You poop over, you poop your pants. Did you poop your pants? She'll be here just cleaning herself and it's all of a sudden smells like poop. Tasty. <laughs> so I'll tell you this with Sonos. And I don't think I've done a video on it yet because because if I have, I would send you a video. But um, you probably know that you do have to get the app. Yes. And you have to sync everything up. Yes. It's, it's going to take up. you about maybe 10 minutes 10 long minutes <laughs> it's going to be a 10 long minutes um to sit there and sync everything properly but it was an enjoyable experience though oh yeah it's fun because you're you like you get to hear like all the sounds everywhere um but once you set up like if you want voice to take over background sounds or if you want to duplicate the sounds front to back or if you want just voice in the front and then ambient in the back there's like so many things you can do with it and once you figure out exactly how you want it to sound like my suggestion ambient in the back voice in the front and then um based on where your seats are at i would do an extra distant because it, it asks you what's your distance from where you sit to some of these speakers. I would make it just a little bit further so that way you get a little bit more. And then I would turn on the, what is it, the night the night mode. So that way when something like like boom happens during the daytime, it's not like, like crazy loud, you know. Um, unless you Unless you crank it. And then there is another thing on the sub that you could set up that... And this is all done in the app, right? This is all done in the app. Um, there's another option on the sub that you could control that will give you that really high and really low at the same time because it, it does have the duels. Um, dude. Yeah. Wait, wait till you finally set it up properly. Like exactly like where you actually like mess with all those like very specific settings. GG, man. As soon as you put the first movie on, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I was watching hockey. And you know when like the people in the stands start banging on the glass? It sounded like yeah. somebody was banging on my TV. I was like, yeah. are you stuck in my TV? Do you need help getting out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cool when you listen to uh, sports stuff. It's like especially like like NASCAR, like some of the racing stuff. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'd be like, like all around your room. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> or even or even like like you said, like hockey, um, football and basketball sound really cool. I heard that hockey is is upgrading this year um, their 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 cameras. Some of their cameras will be 4K. I know football has been doing it for the last two. Yeah. Basketball started uh, last year and um baseball and hockey are supposed to do it this new season um and they also said that hockey is going to upgrade all audio inputs coming in so that way when it's coming out to you it's supposed to be more of that theater experience right yeah so it's gonna be like <laughs> yeah it's gonna be cool. I'm excited for you, dude. <laughs> like, I'm honestly excited for you. Yeah, it's been um, really nice watching all this stuff because we have the kids over every weekend for hockey, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been nice watching it on the TV. And I was like, I can't, I can't deal with this sound anymore. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I yeah I, yeah you're, you're gonna like it like definitely. You just gotta 
fuck with it a little bit, and then is, you're is gonna the be the one that you have too. No, the I know. Meme? No. <laughs> Which one do you have? I have the best that they ever did, and I have no idea why they changed it. I have the very first gen soundbar, the big one. And that's better than the arc? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> it's bigger, it's it's thicker. Um it, it it has more speakers in it, I believe, and they're angled they're angled better too. Um the new one, they do have them angled where it goes like forward and then left, I think, and then forward and then right. This one has a where they're angled left, right, and also front and back. So the sound just goes every single which way possible. But this thing is, it's like, it's, it's big. It's, it's a big, it's a big sound bar. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can take a picture and send it to you. Or if you, if you Google it, it's the, it's the first sound bar that they ever made. Um, I do have the first gen subwoofer and I also have, and I have no idea why they stopped making them um, play threes. Those are bigger than the play ones, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The play ones are, are, are nice. They got a good size, a good weight to them. Yeah. Play ones are good. You could hold it in, in the hand, you know, play three is you need maybe two and a half hands. To hold the base of it. And then play fives. Well, I'm sure you saw it. Play five is like a big old freaking yeah, speaker. Massive. <laughs> it's massive. Um, yeah, so I have two play threes. I wish they never discontinued those. And I think the reason why they did it was it was just one of those things where it was just like, well, we have the one which gives you a lot of power, and we have the fives that gives you a massive amount of power. Do we really need a three? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I was kind of disappointed. I'm just like, oh, but the threes were so good. It just it gives you a little bit more than the ones do. The ones get loud. But if anybody has ever experienced like IMAX. The play threes give you that experience where it's just like, holy crap, it's freaking loud in here, you know? Um, and then play fives is just the freaking next level. <laughs> Literally. It's intense. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for you. Really excited for you to. When you guys have like your movie night. Ooh, actually, you guys have Disney Plus. Uh, no, but maybe. Maybe. OK, well, if you do or if you can or if you will or if you might. If you something, <laughs> that's a lot of ifs. <laughs> um, Disney Plus has been adding this year their IMAX enhanced experience with all the special surround sounds and visual aspects and all that stuff. Um, it translates into those speakers nicely. And I mean, very nicely. Like when you hear it, Exactly when you go to those IMAX movies or, or some of those real 3Ds or whatever they're called um, with those special speakers and sounds and surrounds and stuff that they have in the theater. Oh, man, Sonos does a an amazing job giving you that sound. Even their TV shows. I want to say. Um, if you find the right. Link. And I'm not going to go into details with that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if you find the right link that has all the codecs for all of that stuff, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about almost instantly. Like like that intro, the, the Marvel, as it's rolling, that intro alone just sounds like it sounds like this, like it's just coming and it's just like, whoa, you know, they just it just it just grows around you and it's just like, OK. I don't need to go to the theaters no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you should feel once that starts, that you don't need to do a movie theater no more. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm stoked, dude. I'm actually super stoked. <laughs> uh, Hulu. So Hulu, real quick on the Hulu. I started watching Blazing Saddles. 
which if you haven't watched it, you should. Don't get offended. Um, yeah, just don't get offended. It, it, like, I don't know. Anytime I see things about that is offensive back from those times, it's like, well, that's how it was those times. You know, so. I watched maybe, well, actually, when it started, it was like a minute and a half commercial. And then about 30, 45 minutes in, there's another commercial. And then a little bit past an hour, there was another commercial. I was like, and they're all a minute and a half each. I'm just like, usually I get one commercial in the beginning and I'm done for the rest of the movie. Why am I getting so many commercials? I'm like, that's interesting. And then um, I watched something else right after that. Oh, have you seen Beer Fest? Oh, that's another stupid. <laughs> like it, it's it's it, it's it's a, it's about a, a bunch of guys that go to Germany and they're having a competition drinking beer, but it's playing games, beer games like quarters. When you throw the quarter, it goes in beer pong, or you have to like 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 you have to like get on a monkey bar and go upside down and drink the beer or the beer hats it's like it's it's a competition it's almost like the olympics it's stupid but it's funny um i started watching that there was a commercial in the beginning and then no commercials for the entire movie and i'm just like okay bipolar <laughs> like what the hell and i kind of thought like i was almost because again i'm spoiled i'm like maybe i should just get the thing with the no ads <laughs> And even though I, I was paying attention, but I wasn't really like sitting watching, I was kind of like working on my phone. I'm like, why? I'm like, I'm like, why am I so spoiled with the I'm like, no, you know what? I, I think I'm OK watching these commercials. But you know what it was? It was the actual commercials that came out that I, that I was bothered on. Have you seen commercials and anybody out there, if you've seen those commercials that absolutely bother you and you just are like, why is this on right now? This is stupid. Leave us a comment if you guys have seen that. Have you seen anything like that? See anything like what? Where you get a commercial and you're almost offended or you're almost disgusted or you're almost like. like I'm offended by how good of quality the audio and the video is compared to everything else. Like it'll just slap you out of nowhere. Like, bam. Oh, yeah, they're all like it is because the files are just tiny, but you haven't found anything. I don't watch commercials. You don't watch live TV at all? Nope. So this question doesn't do anything for you then. <laughs> so I everybody else, the only thing I watch is, is hockey. And then when it's on commercial, like we're talking with everybody in the room. So I'm not watching commercials. Okay. So you're not paying attention, but you, no. but there's commercials. Okay. So sometimes there's commercials about, and I hate these commercials. Th this is like the number one commercial that I hate when they show like donate to dogs or donate to pets. And they show them all living in the streets and they have the song in the back, all sad and everything. And, and I'm just like, are you guys trying to sucker me in to feel bad and send you guys money? And you guys are probably just like buying cakes and pies and whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like those commercials, I like, hate. I'm like, dude, that's jacked up. Come on. You know, the second commercial, and I was getting some of these on Hulu yesterday. Actually, I, I got three of these on Hulu yesterday. And I'm just like, I'm like, can I opt out of these type of commercials? Because I don't want to see this shit. It was literally a medication and they show people who are they like the same sex, I should say, without offending nobody, I hope. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Okay. It's a commercial on if you have some kind of sickness or to prevent some kind of disease specifically just for them. And they showed some of them like kissing and and making out and and i'm just like ugh, like even if it was the even, even if it wasn't of the same sex even if it was a guy and a girl or whatever kissing and saying like oh here if you don't want aids or if you don't want an std or if you don't want i'm like 
dude, like I'm watching a comedy here. Why in the world am I getting these commercials? Are you trying to tell me something? No, I am not. <laughs> Either of it, <laughs> any of it. Like, is there an opt out version of this thing? Like, can you guys give me a freaking cell phone service commercial or or yeah, once you get into the metaverse, then you're going to have more customized stuff for you just for you. Dude, this is disgusting. <laughs> but I wish I wish they had something and maybe they do. Maybe I just need to look a little bit further into it. But maybe there is like a way that you could click on something and be like, don't show me this crap again. I'm, I'll, the first thing I was thinking is like, what if I have kids? And they don't need to see any of this. Like, Daddy, what's AIDS? What's 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 an STD? Is that a video game? <laughs> no, no STDs for you. <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't know. I was offended. <laughs> And I wonder if Netflix is going to do the same thing, saying like, ooh, let's push all these ads for you now. <laughs> it's whatever pays the best. But yeah, exactly. Whatever pays the best. Yeah, hey, I got to find a way to freaking opt out of that. Give me something else. Anything else. Um. Okay, what do you guys? You had another topic, didn't you? Yeah, like one more. I got to run. Okay, so that was the that was it. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, uh, th today's a short episode, guys. Uh, we wanted to get you guys some of the updates on this stuff. So hope everything is going well with you guys. Make sure you guys do leave us a comment below. Let us know what you guys think. Um, next, anything you got to say before we get out of here? Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening to another episode of Beyond the Streams. Wherever you are watching or listening to us from, make sure you leave us a comment or a review so other people like yourself can find the content that you enjoy uh make sure that you're also checking off the notification bell and uh hitting that like and subscribe because you never know where the conversation is going to go and you never know who might be on next time we'll see you guys on the next one peace